recently announced here at Wish TV, Mackenzie Roth, right there, joining our team as Entertainment Insider, brand new role here, and we are very excited about it, and we're excited to have you. Yes, yes and you're so on much. Today, so we can find out more about your role, and then because uh, it's all Indiana, a little mm -hmm. bit more about you personally. I am thrilled to be here. My desk mates, I sit right next yep, to them. Yeah, that's right. She's so my desk mate. Room. Room. So I know you. Well, I mean, you're an Indiana native. You yes. grew up in Carmel, was that I right? I did. Yes, it's so fantastic to be back home. This role is incredible because really from Hollywood to the heartland, I'll be bringing all interviews and stories from coast to coast right back here to Indiana. And right, I went to Carmel High School. Okay. I'm a graduate of IU down hey. in B-Town. Go Hoosiers. Go. I like so you I'm already. thrilled mm -hmm. to be home. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. And you're a familiar face to a lot of folks. I mean, you've, you've been around here for a while. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. I did. I emceed for our Indiana Pacers. I did some work with the Colts. I also um, did a radio show here in Indianapolis, right. and I've been on local commercials for several years. Yeah, you sure have. You're a yes. familiar face yes. for a lot of people. Um, let's talk a little bit about family. You've got a little girl. I do. My How little she? Lucy. She is 10. Lucy is the light of my life. Oh, She's, look at her. There she is. She likes to come Aww. to work with me sometimes. She is in fourth grade, and we just have so much fun. She killed it this basketball season. I'll yeah. tell you what. She does not go. get her skills from me. Um, she does not let us dress alike anymore. That was... Really? <laughs> I <laughs> love those, those days. I miss those days. That, that was an alike. Indians game. I know. And Aww. she just recently had a birthday in February, so there she is turning 10. Enjoy every second of that, because wait until they become teenagers. You know, and... <laughs> oh, they're, they're, they're just they're asking for money, right? Fun. The cool they're thing lovely. was, I was about her age, so I was 11 when I fell in love with this business. My dad actually really? bid on an auction that I could go downtown and come to the TV station, and I just got to take it in. I really? got to read from the teleprompter. I got to, like, sit in the chair, and that's when I really fell in love with this business and the art of storytelling. So, so you were that age. Young. I was 11, and I was that's like, this really is what cool. I want to do. Yeah, and so let's talk about the, you, you've been in the entertainment business mm -hmm. for a while now. Absolutely, yeah. Who was your favorite star that you ever met? Oh my goodness, I have met so many good ones. I would say my ultimate favorite, Garth Brooks. I'm a huge fan of country music. Okay. Garth Brooks, to me, he is just the real deal. And when I say that, there's the two of us. You know, a lot of times at these meet and greets, uh, you know, they take a picture, move along, take a picture, move along. Mm -hmm. He and Trisha Yearwood, his beautiful wife, they take the time 10 to 15 minutes per person to get to know people's stories. Wow. And one time we were backstage and a gentleman had bought a Garth Brooks ball cap and he said, Mr. Brooks, will you sign my cap? And Garth goes, buddy, how much did you pay for this? And the guy goes, 40 bucks. So Garth takes his wallet out, takes two 20s out, gives it back to the guy mm. and signs it and is like, enjoy the show and I'm so proud that you're here. Yeah. Wow. I'm just a class act through and through. There's a lady um, in a wheelchair and he made sure she was front and center, had the best seat in the house to take it in and I was just, I've always been so impressed and that's why I truly believe he's so successful. Well those are some of the details that I hope you bring us in your role. Yes. It's not just what's <laughs> going on but a little bit more exactly. that we all want to know about people. Oh, we are going inside. I can't wait for this. Of course the month of May is going to be huge um, for oh, yeah. Indy. Yeah, can't wait for that. Well, there there is Carrie oh, Underwood, well, familiar face. Bill Nye the science right. guy, he <laughs> taught me the tango, he was on Dancing the Stars, there's that Miranda Lambert backstage at the Grammys with me, Nick Jonas, who is recently a new married man, mm -hmm. uh, Luke Bryan, one of my favorites, mm -hmm. I can't wait, hopefully he comes, you know, we'll see him this summer, he's got the whitest teeth ever, ever, <laughs> there's Emerald, yeah, right. right of your and us, hey, here that, yeah, he would be who I want a signature Bacon from, right Kevin Bacon and Michael Bacon, uh, there's my buddy Cole Swindell, I love that country music, uh, there's a baby Shawn Mendes, <laughs> oh, Shawn no, Mendes. I'm a Shawn Mendes fan, oh. I love his music, Demi Lovato? Do you yes. like this? Okay, there's, mm -hmm. some, there's some Demi Lovato, Dame Lillard, of course, when I was out on the West Coast. Oh, okay. He is just incredible. Girl and Adam Benatar, you guys recognize that face, we right? Do. Um, and there, if you, Charlotte Flair, if you're in the wrestling world, her dad, uh, Ric Flair. Yep. So I have just gotten to meet so many incredible people, mm -hmm. and I'm thrilled. Like I said, the month of May is upon us. Yeah. And I will be hosting the red carpet off the grid, and that's going to be incredible. Very so. cool. You had a fun moment with Steven Tyler, is that right? I did. So Aerosmith, I went to to see it was my first show I met Steven Tyler there we are in Las Vegas and he came up and sang to me funny story my his microphone got hooked on when you're on stage like that they give you little iPods to listen to the show you have their ears actually and we got tangled up in that moment so he's <laughs> giggling I'm laughing I'm like I could blow this entire concert so I do a shimmy shimmy down as dancing and I <laughs> unhooked us so we were literally locked up that moment together but no one could tell I'm sure oh, yeah. hilarious. I'm sure he didn't mind it <laughs> 
right? You know, he is what, 70, 71, yeah. and he is still, he's just a rock star. Still going star, star. strong. Absolutely. It's amazing a rock star like that. Yeah. He's, he's 70 and still going strong. Right. Which exactly. is just amazing. It is All right, not you incredible. got a little scoop for us today. Yeah, the yeah. big news everybody's talking about Katy Perry is expecting. So she's yes. expecting her first child with her fiance, Orlando Bloom. They got engaged on Valentine's Day. Um, Katy announced it via her social media. It's the video for Never Worn White. That is her new hot single, and she debuted this beautiful baby bump. And she's quite, she's far along. She's expecting she's she really? this summer. What does she do? This summer. Okay. Uh, we don't know the wow. sex of the baby yet, but that is very so exciting. She's been hiding news. it on, yes. on American Idol. Right. right? Just yeah. I, uh, yeah. First baby, right? Outfits. Yep. Okay. First baby. It's fun to watch a new mom, too. And I mean, how cool of a mom is Katy Perry going to be? Yeah. So that, that is what everyone is buzzing about today, for sure. It's Which very exciting. Good stuff. All right, you're going to be bringing us reports. Um, I know you're going to be filling in next week here. On, on yes, Indiana, right here at All so Indiana. And tomorrow I'll be on Indie Style. And okay. then every Tuesday I will be spilling the tea. So giving you uh, yeah, all the gossip. I just learned that from Ashley. <laughs> you like what I spill never the knew tea what spilling means? the tea was. Oh, She's Mike. Like, you got any tea to spill? And I'm like, uh, I don't have any other tea. Coffee. Coffee. You want coffee? He always has coffee. <laughs> we have to have you watch Hocus Pocus. I can't. I, my uh, mind is boring. Well, you never make him I, I endure it. News. It's like three out of six, uh, you know, uh, you percent. He wins three to Yeah. In the classic. Yes. And we'll keep you posted. The original cast not in yet on the sequel, but hopefully they will be. All right. We'll get to find out all that kind of stuff from the kids. Thank you.